Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, we have episode 3 of our Road to Rank 1 series, and in the last episode, I didn't think I was making a whole lot of progress, so I wanted to edit the video in this type of way where I cut a lot of the footage, but I know you guys have mentioned that you want to see the raw footage, so after this video, let me know if you want to see this version or the one before where I just kind of do everything. I could just cut out the parts of me farming or just like the boring parts, that could work as well. Also, stay tuned for this coming Sunday. I will post a time, so if you guys want to check out a live stream for episode 4. I will be trying to make as much progress as I possibly can on the episode, so Sunday is probably going to be the best time to do that. I'll just announce the time in the community post, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, moving on to the series, so I was deciding on what kind of farming character to go with because we do have one chaos core, and I decided to just finish up the quest line to see what kind of gem we're going to get for our first one. So I went on ahead and, you know, I took out that world boss. We got some lunar souls here. That's going to help us out quite a bit later on. So I just went on ahead, did some dungeons, and now... The important part, we have our water gem box and a golden gem key. We're going to get a guaranteed stellar and it should be magic damage because we uh, picked Tomb Razor. So uh, as we so check, check out the stellar, it's physical. So after that water gem incident, I decided to, you know, pick a farming character and I wanted to go with Lunar Lancer here because I usually, I don't really farm with him. So I was like, you know, might as well. So in order to get that, I have to go over to the Radiant Ruins and fight those uh, Radiant Giants or I could complete those dungeons. And I did both of those. Tomb Raider is actually pretty good for doing this. So I decided to go out into the Radiant Ruins and farm those. And I needed to get about a thousand of them just so I can get the class. But you might be wondering why a thousand? It was a hundred when I went to the Chaos Core crafting bench. Yeah, we'll just pretend that I didn't go overboard here and I'll just craft Lunar Lancer and forget that all ever happened. So now that we got Lunar Lancer, it's he's level one and uh, it's gonna take a long time to get him up to level 10 because in order to continue with the quest line, you have to level up your character. So you can put on you know more gems and it's probably going to be physical damage at this point so i just decided to level up my uh, lunar lancer to level 10 and see where you know it takes me from there so i found someone hosting some delves so i decided to whisper them because they wanted me to message them light so i sent them light and uh, we'll, we'll just wait for a little response back to see what they say yeah let's just say they didn't really respond back to me so let's just move on here and a couple minutes later i found another group hosting delves they seem pretty strong so i was like you know let's just go for it let's do some delves i have three keys and i can do this until i hit level 10 so this is a really good way to get xp so i was just like all right i'll afk here i'll let you guys do the work but i didn't really afk i went to actually just go and get some resources like just some crystals some like plants and whatnot uh, i wasn't really gonna do any damage here because i have no light so uh, i was just mainly here to try to get crystal gear if you know possible if, if nothing that's fine and then just some like random resources as well as getting some levels so that's what i did with my lunar lancer until i hit level 10. and since i was in this delve i just wanted to take advantage of the xp so i was like you know let's just move on with the quest line here so now i can put on this blue you know stellar gem here put it on get some uh, nice power in get some things going here then the next couple quest lines became pretty easy here so i just had to buy a gem booster box so i purchased it and uh you know it helps out a little bit but i'll just save it for now and then now we have to upgrade the gem we have been given some water gem dust so just gonna do a little upgrade here so that is done so now we can move on and now next step we have to hit level 12 and the moment i almost hit level 11 i actually crashed going into the boss room so uh do i get that xp yeah we chill and just one more level to go and we can move on to the next part of the quest but before i do that i do want to do this coin challenge over here so i do want to get some dragon coins and since uh i just logged on for this specific day i do get some greater dragon caches so that will be helpful for you know a future dragon i finished second place so i managed to also get some dragon coins out of that i finished up the uh whatever the max is for that specific one so i opened up all those got some coins and that's pretty much it for that next up i did want to do this little side quest and get corruxian unlocked so i decided to talk to the uh, npc here managed to get one chaos core out of all of this so that was also pretty handy so we'll make use of that later on before i started farming i did want to level up this uh, stellar water gem that i had so i wanted to level up to five because that's when i get the boost unfortunately the boost went into crit hit but uh yeah we can't really do anything about that so we'll just have to farm and try to grind out to level 12 and see where things go from there after all that grinding i finally managed to hit level 12 over here so now we can actually move on to the next part of the quest and start to move forward with the game a little bit more so this is what i kind of like about the like the way i'm editing this right now i can kind of 
advance things a little bit more so you guys don't have to see all the boring farming parts but obviously i can go back to what i was doing earlier and just have raw footage if you would like me to so i decided to finish up this part of the quest which is just opening the gems tab i did get this radiant empowered gem which I didn't really want to use it's not really worth it so i'll just you know i can loot collect it for later maybe get a stellar but i'll just continue the quest line i feel like i should be strong enough so uh, i'll just get straight into that and complete the 15 dungeons that we have to do now i decided to throw in the empower gem into my personal chest for later i also have my uh crystal hat which i will be using later on as well and while I'm here, I decided to buy a boat because I'll probably, I'm not going to really use it, but you know, it's probably handy to have as well as the fishing pole, you know, maybe I'll go fishing, but it's a nice start to some mastery. So I may as well learn those two as well. With that out of the way, I decided to pick up the uh, adventures quest there and just, you know, collect five water gem boxes. I'm going to be doing water world anyway. And I wanted to rally blade to someone to see if I could actually, you know, teleport to a dungeon and just have that to be completed. But uh, it didn't really work out, so I guess I'll see you back when I complete the 15. Oh, also Trove of Wondership, uh, I don't recommend. Little side mission, uh, I went to get some of these allies that seem pretty decent. They're not super good, but they're also decent, I guess. Uh, they help out my magic damage and physical damage, these two allies that I got. I'll be needing them anyway, so I thought I might as well get them to get a little bit stronger. Also, little progress on the mastery. Another thing that I decided to do is I decided to pick up these tomes with the lunar souls that I have gotten previously so I'll at least you know have something to do each week and since I recorded this on Sunday so on Monday I could actually reset all of that stuff so just more things. I also got some empowered gem boxes because you know maybe I could get something for my classes which could be helpful. I did get two stellars one of them is a two star unfortunately but uh, it is pyro disc, so that is going to be good for farming. I will use it. And since this is more of a mastery, you know, road to rank one, not a power rank thing, uh, I could, I guess, use it. And then I obviously got that three star one. So we got some gems to work with here. I'll probably just loot collect the radiance though. All right, so a crazy thing happened to me here. I did finish this dungeon and I was getting some help from this person that I happened to teleport to. He was just completing dungeons. I got these chaos mega cores here and we got 13 cores from it from this uh, golden chaos chest just from completing a dungeon randomly. So that was pretty lucky. That gives us some options for potential classes that we could use in the future. So that's always handy. And after defeating this world boss here, we have completed the water gem boxes pretty easily here it was you know 15 that took a while but we ended up getting there not too bad the gem that we did get was magic damage unfortunately so i will probably just end up throwing that on tomb razor or something but i decided not to use it because you know it, it is pretty good power rank but i'm just not gonna use it so we can just move on to air world and it should be pretty easy right yeah, this was going to be a little bit challenging, so I decided to do something a little bit different. I wanted to level up my character until I could use my crystal gear. So the new plan for me would be to get to level 20, that's going to be the first thing, and I'll be doing delves because that's going to be a little bit easier for me to do. And I was able to get some of some part of the quests done because, you know, I got carried by some random groups I teleported to. But with all of the adventure farming that I have done so far up to this point, I have gotten enough fragments to make some keys. So I will probably just end up doing that and I can also level up and I can get some crystal gear and once I get to level 20 I could use that crystal gear and then I'll probably just use my flux to pearl them and then from there I can kind of just do whatever. One last thing I forgot to mention I did buy the wings the trove of wonder wings because they were super cheap I think I got it for 1k and uh, it makes farming a little bit better I'm not gonna use it too much and I decided to try to maybe sell something to see if you know I don't know if it's gonna sell but it could and it'll be a little bit of flux which will be helpful but either way that's the progress so far. Alright so slight issue here I forgot to hit record and I completed the air world part of the quest i just had to do four more dungeons and then i also had to do six adventure quests so i just talked to npcs did those and uh, now the grind is getting to level 20 because once we do that not only do we finish the quest line here but i can actually start using my crystal gear so that's going to be super super good and while i'm doing this delve i can just get my uh, weekly lunar souls and whatnot so that's always handy so far i have to say shout outs to the people carrying me in this delve because i was able to get a crystal three face which i will for sure be using so that's going to be really nice and uh, I got some other crystal gear, just, you know, level one hat, and then I can just go on and craft the weapon. That's not too big of an issue, but the level three face is actually going to be pretty helpful for us to get a little bit more light. And I was also able to get some more delve keys by obviously doing more delves, and then I was completing the badges, which also gave me some more keys. 
so that's going to be super helpful in the future as well so now all we have to do is get to level 20 and that should be good we can continue our quest i actually can't remember what happened but i ended up leaving the delve i think i had to go for a little bit but either way uh, i just did a dungeon and then i was able to hit level 20 so finally that is all done and now we can actually continue the quest line and eventually i'll have to get to level 23 for the next part of the quest but we'll just worry about all that later so we did get a empowered gem here, the fire one, and this was actually pretty good. It was a stellar, it was also a three star explosive epilogue, which is pretty good. So I was like, you know, I might as well level this up, but I don't have enough fire gem dust, which I'll probably just get later. So I guess from here, I can just start the next part of the quest, which is finding a gem forge. That's no problem. I did join some clubs in the last episode, so we'll just continue that. All right, so pretty easy stuff. I just had to go to a gem forge, just, you know, not, not too bad. And then we get a little rough focus here to forge the gem so I can get to do that. And then later on, I get to use my chaos spark, which I'll get for completing this quest. So that's also pretty nice. I decided to upgrade the uh, stellar three star because I figured I'm probably going to be using this. So I figured I could just probably just level this one up. I tried to reroll this max health into crit hit potentially, but it doesn't look like the Chaos Spark one that'd be on my side. So I just rolled max health, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but we got that done. Next part of the quest is equipping a powerful ally. I thought I had to equip the one we just got, but kind of just swapped and it worked. So that was all done. So pretty easy stuff. And before I continued with Fire Gem Dust, I think I'll leave that for the next episode. For this episode, I think I'll just focus on upgrading the crystal gear that I can use now. I was able to purchase some Pearl of Wisdoms from someone, so I was able to enchant my gear that way. And to finish off the episode, I decided to go back to the hub and go to the ring crafting bench. I crafted these diamonds because I figured I'm probably going to need these later if I want to finish up rune crafting. I, this is ring crafting i mean i don't know i picked up a physical damage ring it's not a good one but it's something so i figured i'll just leave myself like this for next episode and i should be strong enough should be strong enough to take out the fire gem world so on that note thank you all for stopping by subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and i will see you all next week on a sunday pretty sure hopefully next week on that sunday just so i can you know live stream that on youtube for you guys so feel free to check that out I will announce all of this in the community post probably sometime in the next couple days to give you guys an exact time. So Sunday next week, keep that on your calendars. Actually, you don't really have to. But anyway, I'll see you guys then. Anyway, take care and peace.